So this is my biggest critique, if you will, of the Eagle syndrome diagnosis. And that's because the diagnosis goes something like this. Someone comes in with some strange symptoms that may or may not have something to do with Eagle. And then an image is taken showing a long uh, styloid, which is calcification of that styohyoid ligament. And then the diagnosis is just pulled out of thin air. The problem is that there's, it's 20 times more likely that the long styloid is not causing symptoms than it is causing symptoms. So that's not enough to make that diagnosis. You would need to get a lot more information. You need to rule out the other things that can cause headaches, uh, cranial nerve nine symptoms, uh, and neck pain, and that would be CCI. You would need to rule out things like a CSF leak, if it's headaches, et cetera. But a lot of times that's not done. It goes basically symptoms, long styloid surgery, and that's not appropriate in my medical opinion.